Soldier Boy did it again. So, if you don't know what I mean by again, allow me to explain. Basically, in the past, Soldier Boy has been selling these Chinese rebranded knockoffs of various different, you know, toys, game consoles as he calls them. And it had basically illegal Nintendo games and stuff, so Nintendo got legally involved and they had to take them down. But that didn't stop him apparently. No, no, no. Because now he's selling this soldier game handheld. And before I could even jump on this, notice it's already sold out. Sold out. So what this is, is it is a PS Vita, literally. Probably not any legal trouble to be gotten in there. It supports TV output, can play games on TV, watch movies. Is that a request? Exquisite craftsmanship and fashion design with a reasonable price. Now I'm just gonna say something. This is $200, it's marked down for $100 on sale. I mean, that's pretty good, right? But I don't, I don't know if that's worth the price. Built-in high definition microphone, high quality recording and ordinary recording in case you don't wanna flex too hard. So basically what this, this brands itself as an MP5 game player. Now I did some research because obviously MP5 isn't a real thing. Like it's not like MP4 is video, MP3 is audio. MP5 is not a real thing. But apparently MP5 is like a commonly used thing with knockoff consoles like this. They call it MP5 because I think it's supposed to sound fancy. It supports JPEG, Bitmap, GIF, TIFF, and PNG image format. You can look at all of your images on this thing. Like, you have a gallery from like your family get-togethers. Did you take the did you take all your all your pictures in bitmap format? I didn't think so, but you can look at it on the soldier game handheld. Now, when you buy this thing and, and it comes to you and it's a plastic piece of crap, they've got their butts covered here. Because it says notes. Due to difference between monitors, the picture may not reflect the actual color of the item. We guarantee the style is the same as shown in the pictures. Now what they mean by that is that when you get it and it's trash and it can't play games and it, it doesn't work, trust us, it's the same as in the picture. It's probably just the difference of monitors that you're looking at. It looks like, due to the wide success of the Soldier Game handheld, the first one, he's making another one right here that's not sold out. It's called the same exact thing, but it's, look, it's only $30. It's called the PvP 3000. That sounds crazy. Supports 8-bit FC games? Dude, that's crazy. I can play 8-bit FC games? What is that even supposed to mean? What? It says game card, 888,888 in one game card. It just said built in 100 games. Are you telling me this has 888,000 games? What is this? He's got a soldier game, virtual reality, wireless game, portable joystick. I don't know what part of this is virtual reality, because I don't see a headset. But who am I to doubt Soldier Boy? When, why would Soldier Boy lie to us? But look at this. You can hold it like this. Totally not photoshopped hands. You can hold it like this, right? And it just, it just connects to the world. That's, it's kind of like augmented reality. It just kind of connects to the universe. This thing's only, only $28. You're not gonna break your bank, man. I mean, that's a good price for, for something that doesn't have a screen and can't do anything. Suitable for iOS, Android, or PC? What is this supposed to mean? Due to personal measurement technique is different. <laughs> Listen to this English. Due to personal measurement technique is different, there may be one to three centimeters error of the physical. Thank you. Thank you, soldier boy. Thank you. On to the magnum opus. The soldier watch, of course. Mm, let me tell you. You need to hop on this. Look, it's currently on sale. Normal price is $11.66. Look at this, it is on sale for $11.66, I'm telling you. If, you. if you're looking to buy a soldier watch, you gotta do it now. Do they even have, look, they, look at all the options they have for size with retail box. That's like my favorite size. I just wanna say, cause I did a lot of research on this before I started filming the video. These images, right? I was like, there's no way these are actual images, right? This picture, right? 
with the soldier wash. Now let me tell you, whoever is their graphic designer, A plus, A plus. But a little quick little Google search, and yes, this is just an Apple Watch promotional picture, photoshopped terribly to have it say instead of Kathy Chen, it says Soldier Boy. If you buy this watch, Soldier Boy will call you on it. Yo, dog, where's my Soldier Watch? I've been waiting like four weeks for this. Come on, Soldier Boy, deliver! So for the actual pictures on the Soldier Watch on the website, you see these, and it shows the different colors. It's on, and I was like, it's on this kind of weird background. I'm sure this is some something for somewhere else. So I looked it up online, and sure enough, I found this from GoToBuy.com, and it's called the Slimy Smartwatch A1 Smart Clock. But I. I went on like a really deep rabbit hole here because I scrolled down and I saw this. And it says expert review. Now, let me give you five seconds to answer this question. Do you think that this is a real review? You're right, it's not. So basically this is like some random thing that they wrote and it just pops up on every page. And I was like, okay, this is fake. I mean, I read some of it and it didn't even make sense. Look, I have only had it for four days, but I have to come on here to leave a positive opinion. Slimy smartwatch, A1 smart clock, Android support, SIM, TF, smart baby watch, smart watch for kids wearable devices, are you free shipping is absolutely what is pointed. Certified, 100% quality, top brand, high quality product. But yeah, I was like, okay, so John O. So they obviously got this picture from somewhere jank, right? You know, it's not an actual picture. So I looked up the picture and it took me to another website called lovinghome.io and down at the bottom, sure enough, is the exact same pop-up review. Often you consider the eye appeal of the product. In my opinion, the given stuff looks good, though some people may disagree. I don't really think that's a good review, honestly. Smart choice, buyer's choice, must have, best rated. And sure enough, same picture and same name too, John O. Now, is this guy just a connoisseur of Chinese knockoffs? Maybe. Sorry, Jono, if you're out there, if you're watching. I don't mean to be rude. But you're a robot. But now, there's one other thing. There's one other thing, okay? There's a blog on his website. There's a blog, okay? And I thought, this might be cool. He's actually writing something, maybe? You know, like writing a blog? That's pretty neat. Spoiler alert, it's not written by him. And all it is is, well, the, fir or the very, okay, very first blog post. Soldier Watch is here. That's it. Then the next one is just a promo for his newest music video, Overseas Drift. Can I tell you how ironic this name is? Sometimes I think he knows what he's doing. And then sometimes I just think he's stupid. Here it says he wears Soldier Tech and Soldier Watch, and he's playing Soldier Game in the new video. Once again, I watched it. He's not. I doubt Soldier Boy has even ever touched one of the products that he's selling. No, I want to look at these Soldier Pods. I haven't seen this yet. Okay, so right off the bat, the Soldier Pods are 668. And then he has these Soldier Gaming in ear earphones. And they're $38 compared to what is a knockoff AirPod. Now, I really want to look at these because it says eight advantages on it, and I really, I gotta know these advantages. <clears throat> based on the Asian ergonomics database, based on many, on, <laughs> based on the multiple human trials, specifically designed for wearing stability, allows you to exercise stability, fitness, running, gal, and other conditions, can stabilize the fake wear, and it is not easy to fall off easily. Okay, what are the eight advantages? Tell me. 25 meter line length, that's supposed to be 2.5. Computer handset line, handset? High definition microphone, magnetic absorption function, what? Sponge earmuffs, anti falling, anti falling, multifunctional line control, and multifunction line control, but again. So there's actually seven advantages, but they put one of them twice. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. It has anodic oxidation, psycho sandblasting, <laughs> and CNC cutting, dude. Look at this. Psycho sandblasting. I've always wanted that in a pair of earbuds. You can't find them like that anymore. You can, really can't. This has to be a joke. It's small design. University ask. 
Soldier pods. Ooh, these two are on sale. You gotta get these. They're down from 668 to 668. Color F. So, when I go to order my soldier pods, let's say I want red. Tell me, tell me, tell me which color I want. Tell me, is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? How do you know what color you're getting? That's six anyways, and there's five in the picture. I mean, like, what is the mystery? What is the mystery color? Green? Blue? Purple? You don't even get the product? Is that what the mystery color is? Oh boy, they have double ear. That is right, when you get these, you can listen out of two ears. Double ear. Oh, oh, this reminds me, this reminds me, this reminds me. Okay, so I was doing some research, right? Right? I was doing some research. I was doing some research, right? Because when I first discovered that, that he was selling a new knockoff console, I was just sitting in bed, right, checking Twitter in the morning. And I saw it. And I immediately did some research because I was like, I want to make a video on this. Because I wanted to make a video on the first Soldier Games, but then it got too late, and I was like, you know what, it's over. But now it's back, it's back. But I was doing some research, and I figured out, I saw, I saw the, what, what the soldier, I found the thing, the, the, somebody, somebody bought it. Yes, 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 Droid X360, okay. You're about to see, you're about to see the joke here in a second. Yes, okay, here it is. So this is what you're buying, if you buy the, the PSV, or the, the Soldier Boy handheld. Here's what you're buying, get ready for this, get ready for this. In the box, it comes with, the box says, Intelligent Gamer Tablet. They're using a meme that wasn't invented until six years later. This is 2012, people. This was destined for success. It says, Intelligent Gamer Tablet. I'm not making this up. And this is what you're buying. I didn't even see this stuff before. Soldier board? He's selling a, a knockoff hoverboard. It's happening again. Look, type 8765432. Tell me if I if I pick type 3, what am I getting? I have no way of knowing. They're selling a mystery product. Made of premium PVC. Are you telling me that they, they're sticking a couple of PVC pipes together and that's what I'm getting? The sticker is durable and waterproof. It provides basic scratch protection to keep your electric scooter in prime condition. And it covers your self-balanced scooters from dings and scratches. Hate those dings, you don't want a ding on your scooter. Easy installation, quick and easy to install, no bubbles and wrinkles, easy to remove and no sticky residuals left. What is this? Is this a sticker? Is this literally a sticker of a hoverboard? It sets your hover balance board apart from the crown. The self-balancing scooter skins create a stylish and new look. This is a skin. This is- you're not- that's what it is! It is a sticker. They're selling, a, like a- like a skin, a cover sticker thing for your pre-existing hoverboard. That sets it apart from the rest. They're saying that they're selling a hoverboard, and what you're buying is a skin for it. There is completely false advertising, marketing, I mean they're not even selling what they say they're selling. They're selling you a sticker for $31. It just keeps getting better. It really does. It doesn't stop. Hey guys, it's me from three days later. I just want to say a disaster has happened. Truly, truly a tragedy. Soldier Boy's shop went down. Who can say where the road goes? Soldier Boy's been tweeting out on his Twitter, he's like, my ex-cameraman hacked my shop. Apparently he has beef with his ex-cameraman or something. But Shopify sent him a reply to one of his tweets and said, we sent you a DM, please check it out. So I think their DM said, your products are illegal, we don't want to get in trouble, we took your shop down. But I don't think Soldier Boy's ever going to admit to that because it's going to make him look bad. So... You'll probably just hear the same ex-cameraman thing for a while. Props to Shopify for DMing him instead of just <laughs> saying publicly all of his stuff was illegal. Not that we don't already know, but you know, they're looking out for Soldier Boy. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, I just had a little closing thing to say at the end of the video here, so I just wanted to put that before it, just because, you know, I wouldn't have put that out there because it's kind of 
a little bit of a big deal. The entire shop got taken down. I don't know if it's going to be back up. So, anyways, yeah, back to the video. I think, here's what I have to say. Here's what I have to say. Soldier Boy wants to become relevant, right? That's his goal. According to him, he wants to be part of the gaming scene and the gaming industry. I think he's succeeding because although everybody thinks he's stupid now, he is relevant. I mean, I forgot that the guy was even alive until all of this happened. So if he wants to become relevant, I mean, he sort of is. He's doing it in the worst way possible, but it, it's working in the sense of now people know about him, they think about him, and they associate him with all of this stuff. Whether it's good or bad, I mean, he has some sort of relevance now. It's pretty funny for me, so maybe he's a genius. I'll leave that up to you, because I don't think he is, honestly. I think he's, I think he's kind of dumb, really dumb. Really dumb. Have a nice day. You! I just want to say really quick, uh, thank you very much for watching if you did. I have not ever done a video like this in my life before, so it was a little bit of an experiment for me. But I think it turned out pretty well, so thank you if you watched, and don't forget to like and subscribe.